a ship slowly moving upstream on the Rhine River. On the northern bank, a row of hills. Great views from the top. Here you will find wonderful traces of prehistory within a square mile, a meltwater valley, and several burial mounds. What was it like here during the Ice Age? A period of bitter cold, storms, chasing snow, wandering mammoths, glaciers that pushed up land masses. At one point, the snow began to melt and streams became meltwater rivers. They carved out valleys, the meltwater valleys, like this valley in Holland, north of the Rhine River, near the village of Elst. It has been designated as an earth monument. Here you will find a number of Bronze Age burial mounds. A few miles away you will find an entire graveyard of burial mounds. About 3000 to 800 years before Christ, people lived here. And here they buried their dead. In high places. Also at the top of this meltwater valley. You hear only the wind here. What a beautiful place. I wonder if it won't be raining later. From the top of the Meltwater Valley, you look miles away. Located on the southern slope, this land was used in the early 20th century for tobacco cultivation. You can still recognize the row of trees, planted to protect the tobacco plants from the wind. At the nearby village of Amerongen, you can still find restored tobacco plants from that period. Now the area has been given back to nature. If you are lucky, you see deer grazing. Foxes also live in this nature reserve. It's a lovely quiet territory for the wildlife. In the middle of the Meltwater Valley, the animals find a pool from which they can drink. A herd of semi-wild conic horses. Once this was a large tobacco plantation, now it is a steppe-like area. This area is called Plantation William III. A nice habitat for the conic horses. In weekends it attracts many hikers. Now there is mostly silence in the field. Under this road bridge, this area is connected to the riverbank. Still, ships are slowly moving, unaware of the traces of prehistory they are passing by. Want to discover more fascinating places in the Netherlands that are not in the Lonely Planet? Soon I will start a series titled Holland Off Road, in which I very briefly show spots throughout the Netherlands. Interested? Keep an eye on my YouTube channel or 
even easier. Subscribe.